Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today is Friday, March 27, 2020. I say that just because I just want to remind everyone that right now we are operating on some slightly different hours. We are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. You can contact all of our departments directly over the phone via email directly to each department and you can go to www.byerlyrv.com and text each department individually. Also, if you are shopping for parts, we have the online parts catalog that you can get to off of our website as well. Also, thank you all for watching. If you like our videos, please give it a like. That way more people will see it, share it. We appreciate that. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can keep up with the latest news and videos here at Byerly RV. Okay, now we are going to take a look at the 2020 Keystone Passport 239 ML travel trailer. A 239 ml travel trailer is a smaller bunkhouse. It weighs 4,400 pounds with the idea of being it can go behind something like say a mid-size SUV. It is priced at $21,995. So this is a vehicle that is hitting a mid-range price point. It is the past, the Keystone Passport is, has been the number one selling ultralight travel trailer in its price range in North America for the last 10 years. This vehicle is another one of those vehicles that I talk about all the time. It's been built by the same people in the same building for many, many years. It's a very reliable product and it has recently actually received a little bit of an update. So if you shop for passports in the past few years and haven't seen one lately, they are a little bit different. This is part of what we call the SL series of passports. On the SL series, for example, this vehicle has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. They didn't all have that before. So that's something that is kind of nice. Um, we're going to start right up front. We'll talk a little bit about some stuff on the outside and then we'll go inside. Um, one thing about Passport, one of the upgrades they did is they made this front storage compartment door larger. You know, it doesn't matter how big a storage compartment is if an item will not fit through the door, right? So you need a big door. And then when you look inside here, I like to talk about how all these guys finish out the storage compartments. And this one is well done. I want you really though to notice this tubular aluminum framework in here. The Passport has tubular aluminum, tubular aluminum framework in the walls, the floor, and they carry it into the storage compartment, which again, helps save weight. Uh, it doesn't necessarily save money, but it does save weight. There's a light in here that is motion activated, which is nice too, because that way it'll come on just when you need it to, right? You've got a nice magnet catch on the door. Um, laminated fiberglass, you know, with the tubular aluminum framework. This is a vehicle that is built to be strong as well as light. Now, power awning. Passport always uses big awnings, pretty much as big as they can put on here. Um, we've got things like a triple step instead of a double. Uh, just certain things, and when you start to compare this to other things in its size and price range, um, you'll, you'll find little extra things. I always talk about how it is the sum of many little things that make a difference. Um, I wanna talk about something that's kind of a big difference. So when you're building ultralight travel trailers, you know that uh, they're gonna go behind vehicles, not necessarily full-size vehicles. That's the whole idea, right? These guys realize that if we can build a camper that fits behind a vehicle that somebody already owns, that makes it a lot easier for that person to get a camper. You put, you know, 20% down on this camper and your payment's easily under $200 a month for something like this if you want to finance it. Uh, again, I'll mention $21,995 is the price here. And we have this great financing options uh, where you can finance it out and have a really nice low payment. So the idea is, is that there's a lot of folks that have a vehicle that can tow something like this already. Um, so we want to make it easy to tow. And... Part of that is the front has a really good slope to it. The underneath I mentioned is enclosed. That helps the airflow over this thing better. But if you look at the axles here, there's a spread between these axles. So the whole idea with this, everyone, your axle, that's your pivot point for your weight, right? People like to have a second axle because it takes away the pivot point. If you spread the axles apart, now you've created this platform for this vehicle to ride on. If it wants to sway, it's got to drag that back axle back and forth. My point here is, is that with the engineering that's going into this vehicle and how light it is, there's nothing on my lot that tows better than a passport. So um, outside kitchen, this is really nice. We've got a nice little two burner stove, hot and cold running water. We have countertop extensions here on both sides and an extra refrigerator out here for extra fridge space. Nice aluminum wheels, by the way. You know, aluminum wheels look good. I believe these actually have a lifetime warranty on them. Speaking of warranties, Keystone RV, offers a three-year structure warranty on everything they build now. So everything, the parts of these that they built has a three-year structure warranty. Let's go inside, guys. You know, as we come in, I wanna show you right here at the entryway, we've got this lit, oh, it's backlit. 
a uh, little little cubby right here. But the whole idea being is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take my shoes off right here. And I'm gonna stick them right into this spot right here so there's not like a pile of shoes sitting at my door, right? These not their first rodeo. These guys know what they're doing. They listen to us when we say the things that we want in our campers and they incorporate that in their new stuff. So um, passports have, uh, we've got seamless countertops, undermount stainless sink, nice residential type of uh, fixtures, the cabinet door and drawer fronts are solid wood. That's another thing that you don't see. You can even see the tongue and groove fit up here, but that is something that you don't find in a lot of ultralight travel trailers. It's hard to keep your weight down and still use real hardwoods, right? We've got, oh, there it is, my favorite stove, if some of you have been watching my videos. This is the new Furion stove. Again, for those of you that have had a camper before, you'll appreciate the fact that we have an oven light now. We also have an igniter here that ignites not only the top burners, but it ignites our pilot light. For those of you that haven't had a camper before, we never had oven lights and we always had to light our own pilot lights. This is kind of cool. Um, and it's got a really, really good cover to it. It's got a little spring on it and stuff. Again, those of you that had the ones before, they had to do all this with to get it to work. Very, very nice. Um, microwave, even the fridge, you know, it's a regular RV refrigerator, six cubic foot, but the handle, that's the latch. How cool is that? That's just a little bit easier. Um, remember, some of many little things, right? All right, this is nice. This is a cabinet that you will find in almost every passport. It's like a signature item that they've always had. We've got extra pantry space, but these shelves are removable. We have a bar in here, so if we needed more hanging storage for that trip, we've got it. The bathroom. The bathroom in the passport, we've got your tub shower with the, the surround on it, so you can put your soap and stuff up there, protects the walls. We've got a nice foot flush toilet. And I just want you to notice the medicine cabinet on the wall. That is a cabinet that they built. They didn't just buy a plastic one and hang there. Um, they did build that just like they built all the rest of the cabinetry in the vehicle. Our bunks, we have our adult size bunks, right? You know, I, I talk about windows and bunks because a lot of stuff you'll get a, it's got one window. It's got that emergency exit window and then there's no other windows in the bunk area. This has, each bunk has a window that is able to open and ventilate in addition to the emergency exit window out the back. Each bunk has its own light. Each bunk has its own outlet. And there's USB ports on each bunk as well because, you know, everybody's got stuff to charge. We make use of this area. This is the back side of that kitchen. Um, there would otherwise be any space. This is great extra storage space. There's extra storage space underneath our booth dinette. And the booth dinette does convert to sleeping. You know, one of the coolest things about the 239 ML floor plan is the fact that since there's not a slide out, a lot of times when you have a slide out, what do they do? The slide out's over here, and they put the couch and the dinette in it because it doesn't require any sort of power or anything. It's a couch and it's a dinette. They can just put it in there, right? And so consequently, your kitchen is over here, and you get this little bitty kitchen window that's the window that's going out into your campsite. So this is really cool because since my kitchen's over here, this is where my picnic table is. This is where my awning is. This is where my campsite is. I've got a great big window. I can open it. I can pass things in and out of it if I want to. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, above that, just real quick, it does come with a TV. We've got a TV on a bracket. There's an entertainment center up here that has AM, FM, stereo. It's got Bluetooth. There is a uh, USB, or excuse me, HDMI uh, port right here. So they didn't want to put it, they left this open right here so that you could put a DVD player or a gaming system or something right there and plug it in really, really easily. Now, last but not least, here you go. This is how we take a relatively small, you know, not quite as long trailer and get all of our furniture into it, right? We've got a really nice couch here. And then to make this, it's, it's a Murphy bed. So to make it into my sleeping, I just grab my couch, release my bed. And there we go, voila, queen bed. How awesome is that, right? You know, one of the coolest things about this floor plan, it's versatility. We've got 4,400 pounds, like I said, so relatively lightweight. The price is $21,995. Keystone Passport 239 ML. Folks, uh, just if you want to talk to someone in sales, we can arrange a one on one appointment. And again, you can reach us through phone, email, or text us directly through the website. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, also, please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Keep an eye out for more videos. I know you guys are stuck at home. Go to the Facebook post and comment if you want to see something else um, that you have a request on, if you want me to do a walk on a particular vehicle. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing ones and keep trying to get stuff out to you guys. We'll try and do some other various stuff next week and have some fun with us. Thanks, everybody.